Hey guys, it's Erica here from Big Cat Creative and today I'm going to show you how to change the background color of a single page in the Squarespace Brine template. So this tutorial is really only applicable to Squarespace 7.0 users as the new Squarespace 7.1 has some awesome color themes and you can change the background of any section in a page using those themes. If you're not sure what those are, I recommend looking at a Squarespace tutorial about 7.1 color themes. I'll actually link one below so you can have a look at that as this video won't be very helpful to you. However, if you are using Squarespace 7.0, there really is no way to change the color of a specific section or page without using code. So that means we're gonna dive into a bit of code today, but I promise it's really basic and you can just follow along. I'm gonna be working from the Brine Squarespace template family as that's probably the most popular 7.0 template. So hopefully this code works for you. But if you're using a different template family, then it might need a bit of tweaking. You should be able to find the right piece of code with a quick Google. Um, but either way, watching this video to see the application of the code will still help regardless. Okay, so let's jump in. We are in Squarespace 7.0 in the Brine template. And like I said in the intro, the specific code I'm going to use might only work in the Brine template, but the actual application of the code should work with all 7.0 templates. You might just need to tweak the code a little bit. So I'll show you what I mean when we get to that step. Let's just first talk about adding the background color to a single page or the entire site. So in Brian 7.0 and most Squarespace 7.0 templates, if you come into design site styles, you can change the entire background color of your site by scrolling down to the main section. And the color we can change by just changing the color. So this will affect the entire site. And that is totally fine, but today we want to just affect one single page because sometimes that's just what you need to do when you're designing your site. So I'm gonna head back to the pages panel. This is really quick and simple head to the pages panel and choose the page you want to change the color of. I want to change the color of, let's say this stockists page. And right now it's white. I'm gonna change it to a peachy color. We can do that by clicking on the cog icon. And under advanced, there's a place where you can add a code injection. This is a premium feature. If you only have a personal plan, I can actually show you another way to do this. This is probably the easiest way to do it if you're not adding much other code to your site. If you are someone who is adding a lot of custom CSS and custom code, I would wait to watch the next version of how we do this because it's best practice to keep all of your code in one place. But if you're someone who's not using much around your site and you're using the business plan, this will work fine for you. I'm gonna open up the original blog post for this template so I can just copy and paste the codes and I will link it below the video so you can copy and paste the codes too. But underneath step two, I have this code here. It's wrapped in style tags and it essentially just says main, background color, and then we have a hex code. So I'm gonna copy this completely and paste it into here. And to change the actual color of the background, this is the code you'd wanna change. I'll also link to more information about color hex codes and how to find them below this video. But basically this is just a fancy code that tells you the color. So every color should have its own code and you can paste your specific color in there. I'm gonna click save. And you'll see that instantly my page has changed color and I'll just pop over to another page just to double check. It is just that stockist page that has changed and it is. So that's a really quick and easy way to change the background color of the single page. So we'll come over to this blog post again and this time we're gonna scroll down to step three and I have a couple of extra codes here if your header hasn't changed. We have one for a header bottom and we have one for a header top. If you're not sure which style of header you're using, you can just try both and see what works. I know for a fact that I'm using header top in this instance. I'm going to open up those settings again and click on advanced. 
and I'm going to copy the header top code. So you can see this first part is what we already have in here. It's the main background color. And so I'm just going to copy this section and paste it within the style tags. So copy and I'm going to put it inside the style tags. So it just looks exactly like it is in the blog post. If you're not sure, you can just copy this whole thing again and replace the entire code that's in here, but it is set to the same color. So I'm going to click save. And then that should change the background color of your menu. And we'll just quickly check that that's only happening on that single page. And that looks perfect. That is how to change the background color of a single page using the advanced code injection for a single page. And like I said, that that's only available on the business plan and up. If you do have just the regular Squarespace plan, the personal plan, I should say, there is actually a way to do it with code where you don't have to use the advanced injection. You can use the custom CSS panel. The only thing is that you actually need to download a little special tool. It's really quick, easy, and free. So I'll show you how to do that first. And that's just going to help us write our custom CSS. Underneath this video, I've linked this Chrome plugin called the Squarespace ID Finder. And this works specifically with Google Chrome, your web browser. I believe you have to use this in Chrome. I'm not sure if they make it for Safari or anything like that, but you can just use Chrome. Squarespace always recommends you use Google Chrome anyway because the editor performs much better while you're in Google Chrome. I've already downloaded mine, so this button says remove, but yours would just say download or install. If you just click it, it will automatically be attached to your Google Chrome and it should look something like this within your toolbar. So then we can go back into our Squarespace site and I'm gonna go ahead and delete the codes I just added. So we can add them using CSS instead. And I can show you how to do it with CSS instead. This way is also recommended for people who are using a lot of CSS on their site. So if you find that you're someone who's ended up using quite a bit of custom CSS or custom code, then I do recommend you do it this way anyway, because then we can keep all of your CSS codes in one place rather than having them sprinkled throughout the different pages and the advanced coding sections. So what we can do is go back in our menu and we're going to click on design and then custom CSS. This is our custom CSS window and we type in all of our codes here. The good thing about adding custom CSS is that it is available on the personal plan, so you don't need to upgrade to use it. So that is really, really cool. And because we're not pasting this code into the specific page code injection and the CSS basically spans the entire site, it's important that we tell the CSS what page we want to actually target when we want to add the background image. We didn't have to target the specific page before because we pasted the code directly into that page. But when we're doing it in CSS, because the CSS goes across the whole site, we actually need to target the specific page. But we can do that by using this little tool, the ID finder that we just downloaded. It makes it so easy. Just click on the ID finder. And at the very top of your page, you'll be given a collection ID. So it should say hash collection dash, and then a string of numbers. This is actually giving you the specific ID for, for this specific page. It will also show all of the IDs for a bunch of blocks as well, but we don't have to worry about these right now. Just click on the collection ID for the page you want to edit and it will automatically copy. And we can just click into that ID finder again to hide those little tabs. Then you'll want to paste your collection ID into your custom CSS. And you're gonna click shift and add a curly bracket. So make sure it is a curly bracket. And when you type in that first curly bracket, it will automatically add a closing bracket. So what we're gonna do is put our cursor in between those two brackets. And I'm just gonna hit enter to give us some space to write some code. And this is where we wanna put our code in between the opening and closing curly brackets. So I'm going to go back over to my site and I want to essentially use the exact same code that we just used in our advanced code. 
The only difference is we don't need to put the style brackets around it. The style brackets indicate that the code is CSS. So when we put it into our advanced code, we needed to tell Squarespace that that was some CSS we wanted to put in there. But when we're putting it in the custom CSS area, it already knows that it's CSS. So we don't need to put in the style tags. So we'll just copy the main. And I know for a fact that I need the header top code. So I will just copy that without the style tags and paste it in between the two brackets. And you'll see automatically it updates the color of that page. And it's specifically only that page because we added this collection ID and those brackets are wrapping around this whole code, which means that this page is wrapping around the code. So it will only apply to this page. That's how you do it on a personal plan or if you're using lots of code. And now you know how to target different pages. You can add lots of different codes if you want to, to specific pages. You could change every single page to have a different background color if you wanted to. There is endless opportunities when you start understanding and using CSS on your Squarespace site. Like I said earlier, the codes that I'm providing today, I know work on the Brine 7.0 template, but if you are using 7.0 and using a different template, these might not work exactly right. The only difference would be these elements. So the dot main and the dot header top. The rest of the code will work. The page ID would work with any template and also the background color tag will work with any template. The only difference will be what this part is called because this part will vary per template. And I don't have like a master list of what each 7.0 template has, but I do recommend just having a quick Google and seeing what you can find because there probably is someone out there that's done that. Otherwise you can ask in the forum and I'm sure someone will easily be able to help you find what these names should be for your specific template. Hopefully that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll make sure to link the blog article down below, which has all the codes in it and the written instructions. And yeah, if you have any questions, put them down below and thanks for watching. Bye.